Hello my little geek freaks, uh, today I am looking at the DeLonghi Magnifica S all-in-one coffee machine. Uh, this one is the Ecamm series. Only difference to the other models is lack of that clever little screen. Here you just got the basic dials and buttons, uh, although they say it's got a better boiler for the rapid steam. So what I've just done there is turn it on. It's so what you're going to do every day and it's going to run through its self-cleaning and heating cycle. So yeah, I mean automatic cleaning is great but um, <laughs> wow as you can see so much water wasted and mine cleans twice a day actually due to my habit of leaving it after morning coffee and then wanting another after it's been turned off in the afternoon. But I'm not going to leave it running all day so this is what you get. Still good idea it cleans itself uh, as you can see the controls are pretty easy espresso or big cup one or two strong or weak yep you just turn that little dial there and press the button that you want uh, button top right is for steam simple as that nothing too clever uh, yep you can customize how much coffee is served and how hot you want it and I've got mine served hotter than standard just because basically it tastes better that way but the configuration that heat setting eco setting turn off times it uses quite a complicated set of buttons you know I think one more dial wouldn't have gone amiss on this and I find myself returning to the manual more than once if I want to do it but sorting it out every day is pretty easy here's all you do open that here's your grinds chuck them in the garden keep them away from the pets or the dogs pop them on the plants pop that back in there and of course you can chuck away all this dirty water if that is full apart from that it's just a case of sliding out this water compartment and we can just fill that up from the top here easy peasy yep i'm using mineral water you can see actually all over my machine there are marks from the mineralization and I'll talk about that a little bit later but it is as simple as that we can't drink the tap water here so that's what you're gonna do and now you're ready to make a morning coffee so for me it's got to be pretty strong I'm using a good espresso bean buy these from the cafe down the road that has a decent distributor pop them in the top and you're ready to go. Other machines have a much higher fill bean capacity but this is quite a good idea actually it keeps it fresh for they say about 14-15 cups of coffee depending on how big you want them. Now easy peasy that's the point of these automatic machines I'm gonna go for a bigger cup here you can pull down the spout adjusting it to the highest strength it's often a complaint with these that they are not particularly strong coffees, especially when you first try the machine. You're going to hear a back, bit of background noise. I actually quite like the grind on this stainless steel grinder. But the coffee actually comes out pretty quick. It's going to spend a few seconds inside the brew unit there, and then we're going to see what they call the mouse tail or the rat tail of the coffee actually coming out into my beautiful little Ikea cup. There we go. Now because this is a big cup selection it's going to blonde pretty quickly but you're going to get a very natural crema on there. That's something that I adore. Not everyone does but certainly a European coffee here this would be considered a big size. You know maybe not so much in the States, North America or Canada. But this is how we take it and it will remember the last amount that you drew so this is just how I have it and there we go. Apologies, shaky camera work there but yep yeah, we've got a decent crema and a decent hot cup of coffee. Now I'm going to make an espresso straight away just to see how quickly you can make one after another. I'm choosing strong, single espresso, it's grinding again. It's got 15 bar pressure so those of you who are really into coffee, you'll know this is good enough to make a pretty decent coffee shop alternative. Again, it's sitting in the brew unit now, it's been ground, and we're going to steam out straight into my little espresso mug. There we go, much stronger later on the blonde. Now it's using both spouts for one cup, but if I had set it to two, I would have got two cups. Simple as that. Okay, one for me, one for him. That's your morning sorted pretty easy with the DeLonga Magnifica S. Now, the steamer, it's good. Look, 
I don't use it that often, but if you want to impress or you want to make a cappuccino, it's as easy as this. Flick switch and you turn the steamer button dial over. Instantly through the wand, you're getting a pretty decent flow of steam. Uh, I'm told that it's pretty efficient. My neighbor actually makes a much better cappuccino with this machine than I do, simply because it's his preferred way to take the coffee. But it's also useful, you know, if the milk comes straight out of the fridge and you just want to heat it for going in a regular coffee. Works great. Uh, you know, you true cafe aficionados out there are going to tell me my angles aren't right and I should be using a metal steam jug. But just to show you the raise in, in milk volume here as the foam is created, it's efficient, it's easy, and that little wand actually, is, you, know, you can just twiddle it, pull it off, and don't tell the manufacturer I said this, but you know, chuck it in the dishwasher. They always say don't use the dishwasher for these components, I've never had any trouble, and I prefer my, t my reviews to be kind of how the average person is going to use it. There we go, bit of foam in there, and you've got a pretty neat little cappuccino. So look, this is what most of you want, right? Just a decent foamy coffee or espresso in hardly any time at all. And this machine does that job really well. As for the quirks, well, here's a good one. You get this extra little spout. Now, I did wonder why on a bean to cup machine do I have a spout for ground coffee? Well, the secret is this, um, decaf. A lot of my friends and my family like decaf coffee and this is a really easy way to upgrade that beverage for them. Use a decaf ground, it is way better than instant. Or of course you're trying a speciality coffee in there and don't want to empty out all of your beans. So yes, thanks to Longy, I think that's a really good addition even if you do need to keep it clean. Uh, what else? This uh, fine grind setting is pretty good. You can alter how coarse the beans are that are you know going to go through the machine i keep mine almost at the fine finest grind you can't go all the way i'm told because the machine's going to clog up but hey you do have some control and you don't get that in a lot of sub four five six hundred pound machines so again well done delonghi just makes it that little bit more personalizable now you can see my uh, descaler light is flashing and has been all the way through this video. That happens a lot to me. I'm using a high mineral content water and this thing wants a lot of water. So, you know, it's going to happen. I don't always descale when the machine tells me to. And to be honest, that added pressure in the machine gives me a great cup of coffee, although I am limiting its lifespan by doing that. But hey, you know, this is how some people are going to use your machine, Mr. Inventor. And it's still going strong. The water tank, you can see the effect of the mineralization on there. But I'm going to be honest with you, that's also something I put through the dishwasher. You could weaken the the rubber ceilings though, so do be careful. It never uses all the water in the tank. Slightly frustrating in that respect. This is awesome though. You can remove the brew unit. This is the actual bit where the magic happens. See all that mucky stuff? You can wipe it off. You can rinse it out. Having this easily accessible, big bonus points to DeLonghi. Well thought out and easy to do. So let's talk beans. You're not going to get a decent cup of coffee till you've got a decent bean. That's Farinini here. Getting that from my local supplier. We don't have many beans on the shelves here. We can get Starbucks. You know, the pipe place tastes pretty good actually as an espresso. Um, for the decaf, I'm going with Gamoka. Again, that's a European brand. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it in the UK. Look out for it. It's worth finding if you can. I think I'm going to show you just once more. Let's go through the startup process of the DeLonghi Magnifica S. I want to show you what your life's going to be like using this on a regular basis. There we go. I've turned it on. It's the afternoon. It's going to go through its self-cleaning and heating up cycle. I think, you know, there are compromises to be made with Eco in today's age. As I mentioned in my blog, I've run this thing um, off solar actually for a year but that's a whole other story we're not entirely sure what the eco setting does on the DeLonghi there's very little information out there but it does mean it's gonna not stay permanently heated so that's good news for all so it's as easy as that it's gone through his cycle and we're gonna choose to make ourselves a quick afternoon espresso gonna grab a little mug and it's just as simple as put in whatever you want under the adjustable spout 
mine's already set to full power and there we go single cup espresso actually the noise is quite pleasant I thought I'd be bothered by it but I'm not you know it's a decent mechanical grind and I think if you look closely here you're getting that high pressure you're getting a decent fine grind that's the color that you want your espresso to be so tell you what this stuff tastes great um, that's what it's all about do the little to camera check here yeah you got a decent crema on a pure black espresso so you're thinking about buying the DeLonghi Magnifica S I'd say well look do it at this price point I think it looks pretty decent in any kitchen or workplace this white one especially I'm I, I'm pretty fond of we've used it every day the unit in the screen here has been going for a good year and a half it's now probably a place in my kitchen I adore this thing it's not perfect but hey you're spending 300 euros and that ain't many Starbucks so go ahead top marks to the DeLonghi Magnifica S please subscribe to Geek Unplugged for more honest reviews from gadgets I've actually tried thanks for watching